Hey, I'm all for capturing my wild side, but privacy is a big deal to me. How do photographers ensure my photos stay private, especially if we're doing some shots that are on the more daring side? This is actually something that is super, super important, but yet I think very, very few photographers put their policies or their procedures on their website about privacy or security. Now, to me, that was always one of the things I would think people would want to know. And from back in the day, I always had a section that listed exactly what happened, what happened to your photos and, and so forth, because I guess it was just for, for peace of mind. But if something like this is not listed on a photographer's website that you're looking at, I would 1000% be asking them, what the heck are you doing with my pictures when we're done? Because um, there's a lot of people who that I work with, I know especially maybe teachers or, or something like that, and that kind of content really can't get out there. Um, so security and like privacy is a is a is a big deal. Now, what should be happening and what everybody should be aware of is, of course, after your photo session, you know those uh, photos wind up going on to a work computer for a photographer, and then they are edited on that that machine. Typically, what may happen though, there are, there's a couple of places where in the chain of events, how boudoir photography has sort of like um, evolved where that work kind of gets out there a little bit. And what I mean by turning this down, because this setup, I'm getting an echo because I have delay with my mirrorless camera and this isn't my normal setup. So I'm hearing an echo in my ear that's like driving me nuts. So I just turned off my own audio. But what happens is there are a couple places in that chain where now photos are going outside of a photographer's hands. And what I mean by that is first, if you are using some kind of online viewing gallery, um, which is very popular now, because you know people just time used to, back in the day, you would meet a photographer and review all the photos on a tablet or a laptop or something. But now typically photos are uploaded, uploaded to online galleries, which are usually password protected. So you're taking those photos, they were all being sent to a computer, a cloud computer somewhere for you to access from your home. So I I think that's very safe depending on the company that you use, but and then a password is needed, but that is a step where for a limited time, photos are being hosted somewhere else and you have to put your faith in that company that, that they are safe. Um, so that is one potential area where things can get, get breached. Um, Another thing, too, that people don't think about is also after your uh, material is edited and if it's being sent out for photos, those images are going to a, a printing company. So those photos are also going out and somebody is printing them. They're being seen and bound and then shipped. So the second part there is you really have to work with a comp company that's reputable as far as the printing and the binding, because they're obviously winding up in somebody's hands at, at the print site as well, and then they get set down. But after that, um, what happens or what should happen is when you are a photographer and you're working through lots and lots and lots of projects, once something is finished, it's very, very rare that you're ever going back into that project again. So it may sit in a, in a working drive or, or something like that for a while, but those photos at some point should be encrypted uh, just in case. So now not all photographers store photos long-term either. Some don't want to deal with the hassle or the expense or, or, or to deal with. So they just delete everything. Sometimes photographers keep them and that should be encrypted. So that way if that computer ever gets stolen or there's a virus or something like that, that, that data is basically useless to um, anybody or if you're storing it on an external hard drive and someone steals that hard drive, that data on there is like, is like useless, useless. So encryption is important for women's photographers and you should be being used by everybody. I don't think that's the case. So if you are going to somebody and, and everybody should be asking that if there isn't some information on that photographer's website regarding how they handle photos after a session or during a session, I would be really asking these questions. And so where are the last 10 projects? Where are they now in terms of on your computer or something else and finding out um, how that photographer handles them? Um, so 
theoretically it's really just you and the photographer but you can see there were a couple points during kind of like a very standard uh session where they do go into other hands or onto other computers which can potentially lead to issues so make sure that they're using a reputable again find out where your your, your materials being printed or their online gallery companies are, are pretty secure to use um, so just ask those other few questions, but generally everyone's following those procedures. Your content is, is fairly safe. And, um, I used to have like extreme, extreme people. Now, some people, I haven't run into this in a long, long time, but I've had, um, back of the day where I had been working with some people who were, um, at the time, um, uh, like actors, actresses and on um tv shows and these people did not and it was a question where uh this material had to be done without going out anywhere i had to actually sign nda we had to take the photos the photos could only go securely to them so that way their people are always worried about leaks and, and stuff getting out but that's like an extreme extreme case if you're really super hyper worried you know, you can just get the digitals straight from that card and, and delivered right to you. That way it's in, in your hands and you could do with it. But normally that regular procedure for for boudoir photography is, is fairly safe and, uh, and secure.